Good day once again. My name is Graphics. Today we'll be looking at hexagon, which is an aspect of polygon that has binded by what six equal parts. But the method of using to construct this hexagon will be across what across flat. Now, when you want to construct an across flat hexagon, what you have to do, you have to use your what your 60 degree set square, your 30 and 60 degree set square, right? So, but the first thing you do is by drawing your vertical and horizontal line like this. You draw your vertical, right, and your horizontal line. Draw your vertical and horizontal line. That's the first step you do. You can see, I have drawn my vertical and horizontal line. Now, after that, you're going to measure the half of 90, which is the radius of 90, and that is what. 45 millimeter so if i come here and i measure it starting from my 0, 0 0.0 here and i move to 45 here you can see that from 0 to this we're giving 45 right so i'm going to come to my the center of this line that i mark then i'll place it here so I will draw at the, I'll draw my circle faint line can you see that that is the first step now after that you're going to take your 60 degrees set square now I told you earlier that when it is standing this way when it is standing this way hmm, this edge here is what is 60 degree so I will move my compass on the, my T square, ensure that it's attached to the edge of the board. Now I'll move my T square to still I'm moving it. I'm moving it until it gets to the edge here and it's tangential to the edge of my circle. When I mean tangential, this is what I mean here. So it's tangential to what? The edge of the circle here. You can see? And the condition is after you've done that, you rule your vertical line, your line the way. You can see that. Mm -hmm. Now, after that, I will move the same set square. I'll be sliding it, sliding it. I'll slide it until it gets to this top point too, where it is tangential to the edge of my board to the edge of my circle sorry now if you look at it very well you realize that this is my circle here so I'll ensure that it is tangential to it so I'll draw the same thing I'll do here too you can see that it is just touching through so after doing that I'm going to switch it see I'm turning it I'll turn it this direction here to face the left side so when i turn it i will move it also to the edge circumference of my circle make sure that it is tangential to it and i'll draw again you can see that then i'll drive it up too until it also become tangential to the edge of my circle too Start taking to see what I'll do. You can see that. So you have done that. Now I will move my T square to also this point too. Cadential to it. So I'm going to draw. You gauge it. And you draw you can see that i'll move it up to to the other part of it too i will ensure that it is just tangential to the edge of it and touch the other part you can see that now now the next thing i'll do is to tick in these two mm. so if i tick in this 
I love this. Then I'll come to this point too. I'll take in this one too. You can see that? And I'll come to this point too. I'll take in here. Always avoid to draw it from the outside. Always make it to be from the inside like this. Inside out. So you'll be able to gauge your line. So, I'll do that from this point. And I'll stop there. It should not pass through. So, I'll come here too. I'll do the same thing too. Oh good. So this is an hexagon across flat. Why we see an hexagon across flat is because of what? It is um, just touching the circumference of the circle. Each of the side of the hexagon is touching the circumference of the circle. So we say it is what? Across flat. Is that the key now? So Thank you very much for watching. So this is our hexagon. This is our hexagon here.